So you're considering a move to Tacoma. Well, this video might be super helpful for you because we're breaking down my personal top five picks of neighborhoods that you should consider living in in Tacoma, Washington. But before we dive into the video, before I give you a recommendation of the top five neighborhoods that you should consider in Tacoma, Washington, my name is Lucas. I'm a local realtor here in Seattle, Washington. We service all of King, Snohomish, and Pierce County, all of Washington State, and we have partnerships. Compass is a national brand. So if you're looking to make a move anywhere in the United States, we could certainly put you in touch with a professional and competent realtor who will be able to help you out with any real estate goals or needs. Without further ado, let's come back to Tacoma, Washington. So Tacoma is a city that's about 45 minutes, I would say 40, 45 minutes south of Seattle. It's the nearest county to King County, which is where Seattle is. Tacoma is considered Pierce County. Here's something really interesting about Pierce County. Pierce County over the last several years has seen more growth than King County itself. So King County is where Seattle is, but people have slept on Tacoma. Tacoma has grown a ton over the last few years, and I think it has a lot more growth to do. There's a very good resource that we utilize, a website called How Money Moves. And if you go to How Money Moves, you're able to see how tax dollars, IRS dollars are moving from county to county. And dollars are leaving King County and going where? Pierce County. So Pierce County is becoming a very desirable destination for people who are tired of living in Seattle. So if you're considering a move to Tacoma, here's some top neighborhoods that you might want to check out and some reasons that I personally like them. Number one, Northeast Tacoma. So Northeast Tacoma has an average home price of about four hundred and thirty five thousand the medium rent in that neighborhood is around eighteen hundred dollars nineteen hundred dollars um it's majority it's the majority of that neighborhood is owned so about 75 percent of the the houses there are owned 25 percent of them are rentals the neighborhood is neat because it offers you a nice suburban feel um, and there's there's something to be said about the pride of ownership, right? So most homes are pretty well maintained and there's also a lot of cool bars, coffee shops and parks that you could enjoy in that neighborhood. Second neighborhood that you might want to consider is Browns Point. Browns Point is without fail, probably the wealthiest neighborhood in all of Tacoma. Uh, the medium home value is about a million dollars. Now Browns Point population is a lot smaller at 961 compared to Northeast Tacoma, which is 21,000 is the population. So Browns Point is certainly more exclusive, right? Where the medium rent is around $2,100 a month. Really a lot of retirees and really well-established families, waterfront properties. You will understand why this is the wealthiest neighborhood of Tacoma. Third, but not to be forgotten, Skyline. So Skyline is a little neighborhood where the population is about 1400 and the medium rent is around $1,700 a month with a medium home price of around $350,000. So it is a lot more affordable compared to other neighborhoods. Uh, great neighborhood for young professionals with quick access to downtown Tacoma. Those who live here can really enjoy you know, kind of the colonial style homes and the friendly neighbors and and it kind of borders the water and it's also one of the safest neighborhoods in Tacoma. Fourth neighborhood to consider, Stadium District. So Stadium District is probably one of the most historic neighborhoods of all of Tacoma, getting its name from actually a, a historic high school where it has a castle-like stadium and that's how Stadium District came about. Stadium District is neat in the sense that you have a lot of, of different things to engage on. Places to eat and drink such as Art House Cafe, Tea's Chocolates, Parkway Tavern, Tacoma Theater. So that's a wrap for Stadium District. Now last but not least, Hilltop. I know what you're thinking, Hilltop made it to the list. Hilltop is a neighborhood where whenever you, if you're a 90s kid like me, if you're watching cops, 
it was mostly in Hilltop. Now, Hilltop is a completely different neighborhood. They really cleaned up Hilltop. Um, historically, is a very diverse neighborhood in Tacoma. It, it, it derives its name from its location of a high bluff overlooking Commencement Bay. Um, and over the last few years, you know, you've seen a, a lot of, of, of uh, you know, money being poured in a hilltop. A lot of homes are being repurposed, uh, redeveloped, flipped. Uh, population has grown to about 12,000 people. And it was reported that neighborhood watch efforts, the city of Tacoma increasing the police presence, they really cleaned up that neighborhood over the last 25 years. And it's actually, you know, a neighborhood now that has schools that are above average. So would highly consider Hilltop. I would live there, very safe, great area. Overall, I hope this video was provide a high level view of different neighborhoods in Tacoma. I hope you got something out of this. And if you have any real estate questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We have individuals with questions that come out to us, either they text, they email, they call, they comment on the videos below with any real estate related questions. We want to be able to point you to the right direction so that way you're making educated decisions about some of the biggest purchase of your life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, and until next time, peace.